Saint Peter. Not Saint Peter. He's up in heaven waiting to judge you before you enter heaven. I'm Taint Peter. I'm a YouTube gamer, um, apparently. Uh, we are currently exploring the, hold on, let's get the map up here, the Elevated Temples region here in Blasphemous 2. This is our Let's Play. Uh, we are going to just explore, see what there's to see up here. It feels like the next, the next natural way for us to be going. Um, so yeah, join me. Let's continue our little uh, walkthrough here. <clears throat> oh, wow, okay. I complained about this in a previous video, but for some reason my game will sort of pause. Not the actual whole game, but like, my guy will freeze in place when I try to light this mace on fire for a solid one to two seconds. And it does do it every time, but it doesn't enough that lighting this little uh, weapon on fire is becoming a risky move for me. Let's see, like, right there it did it instantly. That's what it should be doing. Let's go down this way. Um, but it does not do that every time, especially if I'm already fighting somebody. It seems to want to pause a little bit, which I don't really love. Fuck you. Making me use a potion already. I don't like that. Ooh, but I do like this. The Demented One. Let's see what the Demented One figurine does for us here. Ah, <sighs> figurines. Figurines, figurines. Mm-mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Increases the duration of the Blood Pact. Okay, I don't use that too much, but the Blood Pact is the skill for this sword. Where is it? There we go. Which I actually forget how to do, because I so rarely ever touch this. Mm, blood Pact. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like down an X or some... Ch no, that's the drop attack. Jeez, I don't know. I should go look up how to do the blood pack. But basically, you know, you put it on your sword, and when you hit people, I think you heal up a little bit. Or at least the first level is like you gain extra fervor. I don't know, guys. I don't know why I'm trying to explain something to you that I don't even use. I should use it, though. It's a cool skill. One of many cool skills in this game. I'm going to continue on our way up here. Yeah, this is this is the way. This is the way to go. Oh, okay. Let's see what that does for us. Got to get out the dual swords to use the mirror statue warper. Oh, come on. So close. Surely this is possible, right? Like, I can't be crazy. All right. This is, feels like me just being bad at the game. Hold on. There we go. The empty receptacle. Oh, shit. Hold the phone. Stop the printer. Stop everything. The empty empty receptacle is going to give us another healing flask. So the first thing I need to do is just completely abandon what I'm doing right now. Use the mirror brass of the return to port to take us back to the city. Boom. And then we're going to go talk to the lady who's getting her hand skin pulled off of her skeleton by cherubs. And she is going to give us another healing flask, which is going to be a huge fucking help. Now, aren't we both glad that I decided to just stick at it and try to get up that thing and hit that mirror? I know I'm happy about it. Imagine if I just gave up and walked away and was like, oh, this is too hard. I'm not going to do this. That would have been a foolish decision. But we're not making those as much as we can avoid it. All right, let's talk to this. Poor thing. There she is. The cherubs are still pulling her hand skin off of her skeleton. She's watching, wondering why she's allowing this to happen. This is just a typical, you know, thing you'll see walking around the world of Blasphemous. This is pretty normal. Uh, let's talk to her. Oh, wow. So I can also give her the silver clad crystal shard. Okay. With this crystal, I mark and imbue thy flasks with silver and vile. Hmm. Huh. 
Oh, that's cool. I probably could have done this a while ago. So the power, the healing power has been improved. Only the miracle shall know how many crystals have been bathed in its grace. Oh my god, I have another crystal shard. Let's just knock those out. With this crystal, I mark and imbue thy flasks with silver and Great. Well, that's good to know because I feel like these have not been healing me the way that I like. So, wonderful. Now we get another one. Oh, this is just so great down here. I shall grant thee a new flask. Cool. Bring me more vials. Oh, you bet. I will bring you more vials. Bring me chalices and vials. Cool. All right. Well, look at that. We got four of them now, and they are twice as powerful. Nay, perhaps three times more powerful than they were before. Or something like that. Uh, let's see. We've got 12,056... Tears of Atonement to spend, and you know I love this merchant in here. Let's just see what she's got for sale. Maybe we'll want to buy something here. Mark of Martyrdom. Yeah, God, I don't need one that bad. That's expensive. The Flagellant. Covers healthy. Yeah, I don't want any of this shit, to be honest with you. Not right now, anyway. Well, I'm going to save my money. This is just... uh wise investment stuff here you know like what is the point of wasting money on shit you don't want or need interesting thing is we are going to have to take this elevator all the way back to the top it looks like I have not found a hand warp up there yet oh I forgot this beautiful scene here I like this look at that cutting silhouette that I make in front of this city let's see that's a nice one with that sword. Um, sorry, just looking at the map again here, folks. Yeah, I think we got to continue up this way. That feels right. Let's go. Oh, yes, and there. I'm glad I saved the money because there's this Blessed guy, too. Feast your, eyes. feast your eyes upon my shop window. I think let's buy both of these right now. Fire resistance and resistance to my asthma. Let's just do it. We've got the money. We have no more items left. Pray. And you know, if you want more money in this game, all you gotta do is just run around and kill people, play the game. Like, it doesn't really make it that hard. It's not like you have to show up and work or prostitute yourself to another character. It's pretty simple to come by cash. Boom. Love it. Ah, and here we are again, resting at the elevated temples, right where we were. So we're going to go back up and around, just like we were doing when we found that sweet, sweet uh, empty receptacle. You know what? Fuck these guys. I don't give a shit about this. Too slick for you. Look at that, just getting through here like nobody's business. Already right back where we were. To our right there for the sightseer is uh, right where we found that empty receptacle. If you yourself wanted to come back here and get it. Oh, interesting. So I can't go there, but I can, it looks like, go to the right. Or the left, I'm sorry. Great. Ring that in a minute, but maybe we should get rid of this guy first. Oh dear. Holy shit. Let's light the, let's light her up. Nope, that is still on my fast travel. Oh, darn. Okay, let's change that real quick. Don't want the fast travel spell. We want the fire spell. And what is this other one? Chime of the Twisted One. <sighs> it's 
says it. I've never been able to get this to work. It says it invokes a ghostly bell, the chime of which causes mystical damage. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. You know what I mean? Let's stick with the fire that we know and love for the moment. All right, I have had enough of this shit. Damn, bitch. You are a real pain in my butt. You know that? There we go. Here we go, and now we have our hand warp. Beautiful. Okay, yep. I see, I see. This is a shortcut, and we're gonna take it because it's gonna go down straight to. Let's slide to this. Boom, save, refill our health. Let's go back up. Now, what we also wanna do is drop down here. Oh. Let's switch to this weapon, do our drop down attack. Boom. Oh, a fervent kiss. This place is just full of the goods, man. This is great. So the fervent kiss, as we know from a video or two ago, is a thing we want to take to that large gloved hand that's being sucked off by that group of people. Um, let's go find that real quick. I'll show you where it is, folks. This is where you want to take your fervent kisses right here. Streets of Wakes. Come on, let's drop down. Yeah, here's the people. They're sucking on the fingers. They're kissing it. Oh, fervent kisses upon my beautiful finger. Yes, please wrap your lips around it. You definitely want to agree to give the fervent kiss. My capacity for fervor has increased. That's my blue bar up there, if you don't know. Cool. Say what you will about that hand, but it loves a good kiss. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does, indeed. I always like to check in with Miss Embroidery, too, just in case. Yeah, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry, lady. She's helpful. She's definitely helpful if you have the right item. All right, now let's head back up all the way here to the elevated temples. Oh, penitent one, please. Bestow thy kisses upon my wriggling digits. And don't forget, too, if you are running around saving at everything like I am, just take the opportunity to keep an eye on what the closest altar is and just go and save there if you're especially warping around areas and just save you a little bit of extra travel time if anything should happen along your journey and what I mean by that is death of course if you die and you cannot get back let another stone fall here boom boom oh shit fuck you oh boy Light him up. Just going to escape that real quick. Maybe if I get this out, I can get that cherub. Yes. Mmm, 12 of 33. We're getting close. We are now less than a third. Wait. We have... Hold on. We found more than a third of our cherubs. Please don't make me do math. I am not good at it. We're gonna beat this weird crow demon. The fuck this thing is. Can't even really get a good look at it. Because it's rolling around so much, keeping me on my toes. Alright, let's see. No. There we go. And here it is again. Let's light it on fire. God, that thing rules, man. I love that spell.
I like this one too. Little ranged attack's always nice to have. Let's open up that shortcut. Let's find out, come on, what lies beneath here. Oh wow, yet another shortcut and yet another crow pervert. Oh, you fucking, what, what are you doing going that way? You're subverting my expectations. Okay, so just quickly, let's see where this goes. Okay. Okay, okay, we're looking. We're seeing. I see that there's more here. I guess I'll just quickly take a look. Okay, so I can drop down to the left there and destroy... Fuck, I fucked it up. That wall blockage there. It looks like a tree bark, but if you look closely, it's actually a bunch of writhing, wriggling nude people, which is cool. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Brilliant platform design. I love it. 10 out of 10. Bravo, blasphemous developers. Bravo, indeed. Let's bring this up. So that we can drop down and destroy that nude, wriggling flesh door. Here we go. Boom. Oh, here's another one of these little sick children by the bed. Let's talk. Oh, penitent one. Please don't get in bed with me. <laughs> oh, I'm sick. Ooh, hold on though. Look at this. You'll notice on the bed frame all the way over here, there's what looks like a, an infinity sign or a letter eight. Now there is supposed to be something I can do to activate a hidden thing. Maybe I don't have it yet. Maybe I just don't have it yet. All right. Well, let's remember. Maybe we can put a marker here. Uh, add a marker. Uh, what marker would I like to add, though? I guess I could add, like, this cool ruby marker. That would tell me something. All right, so just keep in mind, that does signify that at some point later on, there is a special thing hidden there. It just, it should be glowing or something like that. I don't know. I read about it online. I haven't actually been able to put it into action in my game yet. What the fuck? Maybe I wasn't paying attention to my health at all there. I guess I should... Oh, fuck, I'm all the way here. I guess I should go back. Uh, What's the quickest way? I guess I do actually have to just go all the way back up. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Just having a quick little swig of the old drink there. Let's see here. God, do I really have to do all this shit again? Come on now. Come now. Jump over the fucking crow person. Alright. I guess all things considered, it wasn't that bad. Come on, swing the thing at me. Try to fucking parry it. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. This is no joke, guys. People in that room are serious. I think I need to go in with my Veredicto Big Thwomper here, because I'm getting sick of that shit real fucking quick. I'll tell you that right now. Trying to be cute and parry that guy's attack. Fuck that. I'm going to go in and absolutely destroy him. Everything about him I will take in my fist and crush. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. I have had enough. I will not be trifled with. I'm gonna burn the fuck out of you with this. I'm gonna go back here. Fuck this guy up. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. These guys hit hard. I think that's the takeaway here. It's this guy that's doing all the damage. Stay back, you asshole. Fucked too. Oh, two of you guys. Okay, I see how it is. Alright, I need to use this...
Let's light you boys on fire a little bit, see how you like it. Okay, alright. I like that you're in sync with each other now. A little heal up. Now there's only one of you to deal with. I will beat you. I got a mark of martyrdom for that one. Uh oh. What in the fucking hell? Oh my god. Damn. All right. These are these guys are all no joke. We'll say that right now. There's no joking going on in there. No joking at all. It's actually a very serious time in this fucking hellhole of a room. Hmm. Yeah, it's no fucking joke. What we're going to do first is light this guy on fire. Focus on this dude. Come on. Oh, come the fuck on. There's an example of my fucking controller freezing when I try to light this thing on fire. Okay, I'm gonna heal now. Okay, not what I wanted to see happen, but... Okay, not at all what I wanted to see happen. Let's light... Fuck... God damn it, that's not at all what I wanted. Alright, they're in a little bit of a sink now, though. Maybe I can light them up. Let the fire do its work. Oh, got hit there a little bit. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Alright, now these fuckers are gonna come, so let's definitely prep them with some flame. Okay, that- oh my god, I don't even know how to get around this shit. Huh. Okay. So I just did a little pause here and I was looking at my health bar in relationship to my fervor bar there and I was like, God, my health is still really low. My fervor keeps growing. It doesn't make sense that I haven't been able to grow my health bar out. So I just did a quick little info search and I realized I have missed a couple of important items in places we've already been to that should have grown my health bar. So what I'm going to do with the remainder of this video, instead of going back up to fight where I've been fighting, is just go collect at least two of those and give them to the uh, you know woman with her hands getting demolished by those cherubs, uh, her skin peeled off, and grow my health bar. And then I'm going to go back to that fight because I think we're starting to get to a point in this game where me having a starting level health bar is definitely taking an effect. I just don't have that many chances to get hit. And uh, it is showing because I am dying too much. So... Let me go up here to the hand. Actually, that might not be the quickest thing. The first one, I've realized uh, there's an unchecked door right here. I'm going to head down there right now. And the quickest way is actually probably just to keep going here. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can get ourselves that. Plus another one down in the Palace of the Embroideries. At the very least, that should help us get a little bit added to our health. And we're going to need it. We clearly need every minute of it here. We're like in these rooms now where waves and waves of enemies just keep coming and there's no escape. Uh, oh, look at that. I need to get that on the way down. And so really, like, it's just a longevity fight at that point. Um, you're going to get hit a few times. There we go. 13 out of 33. You're going to get hit a few times in those rooms, and some of those people hit hard, and it becomes a little bit of like a bullet hell. 
situation where you're just dodging and jumping and moving and blocking and you know the more health you have going into a situation like that just the better it's going to be I also decided I think I'm going to use well that, that was it yeah I want to learn to use this a little bit more that's not what I wanted to do but I will take advantage of it Yeah, I want to use this a little bit more. I like the parry ability. I need to, like, learn to use that. And also, it's got this insanely good... Uh, what is it? Down an axe. It's got the, the health leech blood pact. Here we go. Hold RB plus X with the gauge full to activate blood pact. So this one regenerates health. Boom. So I'm going to buy that skill. That's a good skill, too. Press up and X to perform a Crimson Ascension. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. I think I'm going to lean into this sword a little bit more. It's got some good skills that I'm not fully utilizing, and I need to, I need to wrap my head around it. All right. So from here, we want to go up and over. And I also think maybe I know how to get to this chest now. Let's see. I think it's a double jump. Let's find out. Man, actually, I'm a little nervous about that. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think it's time. I'm on a mission anyway. Sometimes I want to fight these guys, and sometimes I don't. You know what I mean? Right now, I have something else in mind I'd like to do. Okay, so technically, we should be, like, at this thing. Here we go. Did I just never come in here? I guess I just never came in here. Okay, so there's the hand we need. The uh, item that we need, however, is going to be up and around and all the way down here. So now at least we can warp here. I don't know how I missed that the first time, but that is the nature of a game like this. Easy to miss stuff. You definitely are going to have to come back for shit. It's just the way that it is, man. It's just the way that it is. See that item over there, and it does make me wonder. I could get in there somehow. I would love to get in there. But again, it's like that's almost a mission for another day. Oh, maybe it's this. Hold on. This might do it, actually. Let's try this out. It's like, you know, you think you're going to do one thing, you find yourself on the path to do another. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, that was it. That worked. Boom. Okay. And now that's gone for good. Let's uh, use this bell, melt that. Gone for good. And then maybe we can get the item. Oh, okay. Fuck, man. That is... That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Let's try it, though, because we want whatever it is up there. It's going to be a good item, hopefully, to put us through this kind of shit. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. God damn it. All right, going to keep trying. We know what we have to do. It's just a matter of can we do it? All right. Now that that guy's out of the way. One, 
two, three, four. Oh god, there's a whole other thing going on there. J Jesus. The cloth of the old woman. Alright, before we try doing that other one, which looks like it was going to shoot us down here anyway, let's be honest. I think it was. Um, good lord. I guess we can just try this one more time to be sure. And then I want to look at the cloth of the old woman. I want to know what that old woman's cloth is all about. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. Let's keep going. In fact, why don't we rest at this uh, spot over here. And then we'll pick this up in the next video. Alright. There we go, fellers. Okay, that has been... Another piece of this wonderful uh, playthrough. Um, this is Taint Peter. I'm going to pause it here. When we come back in the next one, we're going to go get uh, an item that will help us upgrade our health bar here. And then another one down here. And possibly a third, but with the goal of ultimately returning up here to where our guilt is. And we're going to try to clear this room and continue on with the elevated temples. All right, I will see you there.